Welcome back, everyone. Uh, I uh, was given, uh, or people left some comments uh, on uh, my papaya video when I was talking a little bit about my baskets. Um, and I'm growing petunias right now, and my petunias are looking quite nice. And, and they were wondering if I could do a video on, uh, on how to maintain petunias. Uh, petunias are one of those uh, really, really beautiful plants that uh, uh, a lot of people have a hard time growing. Um, they look beautiful in the beginning, but then as the season goes, they, they, they kind of they fade. They, uh, they pretty well uh, stop blooming. They look really lanky and, and pretty gross. Uh, but that's that's not how it has to be. Uh, first thing is uh, make sure that you water your plant uh, very very well. Uh, I personally will water, depending on the pot, uh, once a day. Uh, depending on 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 the size of the pot and how much it retains the moisture. Sometimes I have to water twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening. Um, these pots are quite big that I have have stuff in right now, so uh, once a day. I usually do it. I could get away with watering them once every other day. If your soil dries out, you will notice that that they uh, will start uh, uh, not doing so uh, so well. So uh, increase your water levels. And uh, the next step is uh, notice all these uh, dead flowers. Uh, most people will just take the flower uh, bit off. Uh, that's fine to clean up your plant to make it look pretty, but unfortunately this is what you want to remove. You want to remove this this uh, flower stalk with the, uh, like I mentioned before in the other other video, uh, it looks kind of like a little green chocolate chip. That, if that's allowed to ripen, your uh, your plant will uh, will start to set seed. And with annuals, uh, with most of them, not all of them, uh, but petunias are one of those, uh, if you allow it to set seed, it will have thought that its life cycle is done, and it will it'll basically stop growing for you. Uh, an annual life cycle is to is to uh, flower, set its seeds, and then die. So if you take away the seed pods, uh, it thinks that it still needs to put out more flowers in order to survive. Um, so if you keep up with that, you you should have success with it continuing to flower all season long. So you could go and deadhead. As you know, uh, along every everywhere that a new leaf comes out, you'll get a, a flower spike or a, a, a flower come out. So you clean that all up nice, and once that all, that's all done, you're still going to have an issue where where your plant has has grown and it's grown down beautifully down near the bottom, and up at the top it's it's kind of all uh, old wood and and it's not flowering up there. So what you want to do. Is you want to keep on top of your plants, um, and what I do is uh, every week or so I cut back about a third of the plant. So as you can see here, I've got uh, lots of flower spikes, and you'll notice here along the stem where a leaf comes out, there was a flower, and it's also got a little bit of new growth in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to trim it back. Sure, you're going to lose some flowers, but this is going to send out more more new growth. So in where I trim this off there's going to be a flower bud there, there's going to be another flower bud there, another flower bud back in farther. Um, and, and instead of just having one one uh, sprig, let's say, of, of flowers, you're going to now have four. They're all going to start growing, they're going to bush out. So what I'll do is I'll trim back about a third of the plant, taking it all out, thinning it out, and you'll want to do this on a regular basis. Uh, like I said, I do it um, usually once a week. I'll come in and I'll trim, a bit of, uh, trim out about a third, and it'll start to bush out. It'll start to flower inside, and then and then uh, you'll go and you'll trim out the rest of the longer ones, or the, the next the next third. So every every month you're basically rejuvenating your plant. And uh, if if you uh, want to, you could always just grab a handful and just cut it right off if your plant is too far gone. I've done that as well. You could just just hack it right back. And make sure when you hack it back to get rid of all those old uh, spent flower areas. 
make sure to get all of these off because if you don't get all of these off uh, your plant still thinks it's still going to seed and it won't do anything so those are two options that you can do with with uh, petunias I, d I tend to uh, to like to chop it right back um, I'll do this um, if I know that I'm having company over I don't really care whether it's flowering for me I like it to be flowering for when people show up to my house so um, I will cut it back nice and hard about two weeks before I'm expecting that company and uh, after about two weeks well you'll probably notice flowers start to come out after uh, a couple of days but after two weeks you'll notice that they're they're really beautiful they're really full of flowers so anyway uh, the thing that I recommend again is uh, is making sure that you water fertilizing is also good uh, but water is the most important thing you don't want them to dry out um, uh, you want to remove the the flower stalk, uh, the flower spike not just the dead flower uh, and also to keep the uh, the plant full in the center as well as all the way around you want to cut things back you want to you want to chop them back uh, about a third of the plant once a week and uh, again over the period of one month you should have cut back the whole plant and and it will have bushed out and you wouldn't even know that you've done any any uh, any pruning to it or if you want you could trim off trim it right back and it will uh, It'll bush out and, and look beautiful in about two weeks. Anyway, uh, give it a try. Uh, send me your comments on, on your petunias. Are you one of those lucky people that does, doesn't have to do anything to your petunias and they just look beautiful all season? Um, you people are few and far between and, and uh, means you're doing a fantastic job. Um, but for the rest of us, uh, they're quite a bit of work and they're sticky and they give you a weird smell in your hands. So anyway, good luck everyone with these uh, these plants and uh, happy growing.